That's a day ruiner. Hi, I'm Patrick Jones. Here at Buzz 60, we love to give you a ton of crazy stories. There's strange stuff happening all over the world. So I picked out some peculiar thing. So I picked some pe So I picked some peculiar stories from every continent. I actually said it right. Starting down under, a comedian's goat named Gary was in trouble for eating flowers outside of a museum and was charged with vandalism. Seriously. Since you can't prove that a goat maliciously ate flowers, proving criminal intent, the charges were moved to Gary's owner, comedian Jimbo Bazubi. But the case was thrown out because there was no proof Jimbo brought Gary the goat there with the intent of destroying flowers. So what did we learn? That Australia likes to waste money on stupid court cases, just like the American justice system? But at least Gary got a fair shake, unlike this donkey in Botswana. Google got in trouble when someone found this picture from Google Maps that appears like its camera car plowed over a mule. They're denying it, showing another picture where the big guy gets back up, so you be the judge. Sucks for Google though that every driving mistake is caught on camera. Could you imagine if Amanda Bynes' car had that? It looked like a child playing Mario Kart for the first time. <laughs> Speaking of dead things, let's go to Japan. Where Taro Aso, Japan's finance minister, says the country should let its old people hurry up and die. By the way, he's 72. He was speaking out of frustration on the financial burden of caring for the elderly on the rest of the country. For some reason, I feel like he'd get along real well with Dick Cheney. Now let's go down to Antarctica. Bet you didn't think I'd have a story from there. Long story short about a fine, rare scotch. The recipe was able to be resurrected after a few bottles were found at an old Antarctica exploration camp from around 1910. For scotch drinkers, that's better than Jurassic Park. Any scotch that's keeping people alive and somewhat warm while exploring Antarctica has gotta be fabulous. Next, we've got Germany, where there's a little problem with the military. The German army is developing weapons of mass distraction. <laughs> Man boobs. I swear this is real. They say it's because of a training drill that has the guys slapping their chests too hard with their rifles. Imagine if this was back in the day. That would have changed history a little bit. <whistles> got a trip planned for South America and bum because you don't know any weed dealers there? I got you the hookup. The Uruguayan government. They're working on a vote down there that would make the government be the country's biggest supplier as a way to regulate and tax the Mary Jane trade. So if you're ever down there, just hit them up. Listen, just don't be weird about the sale, all right? Just get what you need and move along. Right, James Franco? Fucking lingerer, man. Yeah, totally. Linger. Hardcore. Fuck. And now we come to North America. Americans, feel free to pause this video and run the national anthem for this part. Although it happened in Florida, I'm not sure if that still counts as America. Gregory Matthew Bruni allegedly ran into a house, naked, where it's thought he was trying to take a TV, but ended up ripping a vacuum apart, putting the dirt in his mouth, blowing it about, and police say during the alleged intrusion, which the residents tried to protect themselves with a handgun and missed, that Bruni allegedly also defecated and masturbated in the house as well? That's the grossest thing I've ever heard. And you were nervous about your drunken bar pictures being on the internet. Thanks to Mr. Toynow2706, who reminded me of a special kind of gym person. Yeah, there's uh, definitely some people who don't realize how disgusting they are. Hope you guys enjoyed our trip around the world. Come on, share, subscribe. How desperate does that sound? Eh, whatever. See you guys next week. <laughs>